Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about estimating the quotient of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit divisors. We have a problem here. Kerwin has 528 pesos inside his wallet. He wants to buy pens for his students who cannot afford it. If each pen costs 18 pesos, about how many pens can he buy? How to solve this problem? We have to divide, but of course, we need to estimate. How did we know that we have to estimate because of the word about? Please take note of that. It means we just need the estimation, not the exact number. First, we need to write our division sentence, and that's going to be 528 divided by 18 equals blank. 528 here is our dividend and 18 is our divisor. To estimate the quotient, we have to, number one, round off the dividend and the divisor to their highest place value. What is the highest place value of 528? We'll have hundreds place. So we'll round off 528 to hundreds place that will give us 500. Next, we'll copy the division sign. What is the highest place value of 18? It's going to be tens, and we'll round off 18 to 20. Okay, we're ready to divide, but of course, before that, we have to cancel as many zeros in the dividend as there are in the divisor. So we have to cancel 1, 0, in our dividend and one zero in our divisor now what's left is 50 divided by 2 and that will give us 25 pence it means sir Kerwin can buy about 25 pence for his students and that's it we have another example here there are a total of 3456 people in the gym watching the basketball game after the game, they are only allowed to go out of the gym in groups of 27 people. About how many batches will there be until everyone is out from the gym? First, let's write our division sentence. It's 3456 divided by 27 equals blank. Next step is to round off the dividend and the divisor to their highest place value. For 3,456, we'll round it off to the nearest thousands. That will give us 3,000. And copy the division sign. Next, let's round off 27 to the highest place value, and that's in the tens place. This will give us 30. Now, let's cancel the zeros. It will make our work easier and faster. We will cancel one zero from our dividend and one zero from our divisor. Now, we can divide 300 divided by 3. That will give us 100. It means there will be about 100 batches of people so that they can all go out from the gym. And that's it. Let us have some exercises. Let's estimate the following quotient. First thing that we should do is to round off our divisor and our dividend to its highest place value. For number 1, 2,945 will become 3,000. And then our 61 will become 60. And we're ready to cancel some zeros there. We can cancel one zero from our dividend and one from our divisor then we're ready to divide let us show our solution here 300 divided by 6 how many 6 are there in 3 cannot be we move on to 30 how many 6 are there in 30 that's 5 5 times 6 is equal to 30 then we subtract 30 minus 30 is 0 bring down 0 how many 6 are there in 0 that's 0 0 times 6 is 0 then subtract we get 0 our answer for number 1 is 50 and that's the final answer. 
for number 2. Let's round off 81,102 to its highest place value. This will give us 8,000. Divided by 52 will become 50. Then we're ready to cancel some zeros here. 1 zero from our dividend and 1 zero from our divisor. That will give us the 100 divided by 5. How many 5s are there in 8? That's 1. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. Then subtract. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Bring down 0. How many 5s are there in 30? That's 6. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. Subtract. You get 0. Bring down 0. How many 5s are there in 0? 0. 0 times 5 is equal to 0. Then we subtract. We get 0. Our answer for number 2 is 160. And that's our final answer. Let's have number 3. 4,021 will become 4,000 divided by 16 will become 20. We're ready to cancel some zeros. Cancel one zero from our dividend and one zero from our divisor. We have 400 divided by 2. How many 2's are there in 4? That's 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0. Then bring down 0. How many 2's are there in 0? That's 0. 0 times 2 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Bring down 0. How many 2's are there in 0? That's 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Subtract will get 0. Our final answer is 200. And that's final. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!